Many West Berliners keep fit on Teufelsberg, the city's highest hill, made of rubble from war-torn Berlin piled up to 115 meters. The Rag Mountain, as Berliners used to call these formations, offers almost alpine conditions. Harald Grüschow started skiing here in the 50s, even competing in Nordic and alpine races. We were, froh. we were happy to have a slope we could slide about on a bit when it snowed. That's all we were really doing. Of course, we thought it was proper skiing back then. West Berliners have caught the skiing bug. In 1964, the slope is equipped with a ski tow and floodlights. There are even snow cannons. The Senate covers the costs. West Berlin becomes a prime winter sports location, a mini Davos in the Grunewald. Balm for the souls of the long-suffering island dwellers subsidized by tax revenues. There are even free ski courses, compensation for the restrictions Berliners endure as a result of the wall. It was just amazing. We had artificial snow here, so we didn't have to go anywhere else. And getting out of Berlin and traveling to some other skiing region like the Fichtel or Harz Mountains meant being on the road for at least four or five hours. The Cold War soon puts a stop to these sporting activities. The Americans have a monitoring station at the top of the mountain. The Secret Service agents claim the skiers disrupt their work and make use of the right of veto granted to the Allies. In 1972, the ski lift and snow cannon must be dismantled, bringing an end to the little winter sports paradise on Teufelsberg.